you've seen bubbles float, fall, and pop, but have you seen one freeze? Probably not, since most of us spend our time with bubbles outdoors in warm weather, but it means we're missing something really super cool. The frozen bubble experiment is great winter fun because what you're left with at the end is more of art than anything else. Getting to watch fractals of ice form as the bubble goes from wibbly wobbly fun to its own little snow globe is beautiful. First thing we need to do is to make some bubble solution. We've got ours pre-made, but there's a list of ingredients and a recipe in the video description. To make your bubble solution, you'll need a bowl and spoon, one cup of warm water, two tablespoons glycerin or corn syrup as a substitute, two tablespoons sugar for crystallization, and three tablespoons of dish soap. Again, you can find the recipe in the video description. This experiment works great in weather that's at least as cold as minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Colder does work better as your bubbles will freeze faster and you want to pick a day that's not windy. It's a great idea to put your bubble solution outside to start cooling down while you put on some warm winter gear, like Walter here. It's winter in Canada, which means I'm going to have a lot of opportunity to try this out. You want to find a spot outside where you're shielded from the wind, but it's still very cold. Now there are two ways to do this experiment. The first one is with a bubble wand. What you want to do is blow a bubble, catch it back on the wand, and then lay it down somewhere flat to let it freeze. Oh, got it. Just like a thousand times before, we blow a bubble. Nope. I caught it. We dip our wand. We blow a bubble. And we catch it back on our wand and lay it. Nope, nope, not that. What did that do? All right, so quick and easy, you blow a bubble, catch it back on the wand, and then lay it somewhere flat and watch it freeze. Science! Or we can use the same method we used in our inverted bubble experiment episode and blow a bubble using a straw on a base. Same thing, we just get to sit back and watch it freeze now. I formed my bubble directly on the snow. I used some of my bubble solution to put a little base of liquid down and then used the straw to make my bubble. This might take a few tries or a couple minutes to get a bubble working, but it's really worth it. Every bubble is made up of three layers. A thin layer of water molecules trapped between two layers of bubble solution. What we are actually seeing is the innermost layer of water freezing. This happens because water freezes at a warmer temperature than our bubble solution does. Our frozen bubble won't last long because as the ice crystals form, so too do tiny cracks. Any air that is in the bubble will escape through these cracks and the sudden drop in internal pressure will cause the bubble to implode rather than pop like a regular bubble when the surface tension is broken. I spent a lot of time outside doing this experiment over and over again because I think it's just beautiful to watch those ice fractals form. I tried different sizes of bubbles, a few different bubbles at a time, and I even got to see some snowfall catch on the bubble, which made for some really great observations. To make sure you don't miss any other super cool experiments like this, subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media. Now you stay warm and curious out there, explorers.
Exploration Station.